What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Alec Boss reaction. We're gonna be jumping into the next one on our ocean cleanup journey new river trash interceptors which we have learned a little bit about since we started the joined in with the whole team seas thing that's going on right now for those of you who don't know mark robert mr beast got together with ocean conservancy the ocean cleanup we're trying to raise 30 million dollars to take 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean half of the money goes to each of the organizations one of them being the Ocean Cleanup, which we're about to learn a little bit more about right now. Uh, we will be dropping these fundraiser videos for the rest of the year. Raising as much as we can to help with the cause. The last time, I forget where we're at now. Uh, last time I checked, it was at 8.6 million raised so far. So that's 8.6 million pounds of trash that are, that's going to be removed from are amazing oceans like that's fantastic to me definitely something i'm proud to be a part of let's see what we got let's learn a little bit more about boy on slot and his genius ocean cleanup project <laughs> the next generation interceptors are currently being manufactured and they'll be deployed later this year in 2021. We know that some of them have already been deployed. Uh, we saw one at work. What was it? In the Dominican Republic, I believe, that we saw in the other video. There's a few of them out there now. The ocean cleanup is continuing on its mission of ridding the world of ocean plastic by introducing a third generation interceptor designed to catch plastic debris in large rivers before it makes its way into the ocean. The Interceptor was first introduced in 2019 by the Ocean Cleanup's founder and CEO, Boyan Slat, at an event in Rotterdam, Netherlands. What you're seeing behind me is the Ocean Cleanup's Interceptor, and it's the world's first scalable river plastic solution. The Interceptors are moored to riverbeds and use the river's current to snag debris floating by on the surface, and then directs it onto a conveyor belt which then discards the trash into six large dumpsters on board the Interceptor. The Interceptors run completely autonomously day and night, getting power from solar panels on top of the vessel. This is what we're trying to build more of with these, with this money, people, with this whole Team C's thing. Part of it, half of it is going to get some of these Interceptors into that 1% one, that 1 of rivers that causes 80% of the trash into the ocean we're gonna try to stop it before it gets out to the ocean honestly we know that this is nowhere near the cause or a perfect solution to this this not this not like the end no all end all be all there's a lot more work to go but this is a damn sure a step in the right direction and there is a lot of people behind this one the debris is emptied by a small crew on a daily basis the amount of garbage and floating debris is constantly being monitored by the Interceptor's onboard computers, which are also equipped with a flux capacitor to round out the futuristic look of the machine. <laughs> the third generation that we're now going to deploy. With the first two generations, you know, we've of course removed a lot of plastic, but still we found that we could still uh, further reduce the costs as well as the ease of rollout, the ease of assembly. To, to really uh, speed up the deployment as much as possible, while also making it more efficient. So one of the things you'll see on the latest generation Interceptor is a massive two and a half meter wide um, conveyor belt to take out the plastic. The previous generation only had a one and a half meter wide conveyor belt. So what we found was that it often clogged when it comes to very large debris. Uh, so widening that will hopefully also improve the, uh, the reliability of the operation. Young genius the ocean minds. Is partnered with a manufacturing and logistics company called Kona Cranes out of Finland. They will build more interceptors for the ocean cleanup and help deploy them around the world. Currently, the ocean cleanup has three working interceptors installed in rivers in different parts of the globe. These rivers are considered to be hot. Yeah, Dominican Republic. That's we saw these ones. We saw Boyan going around and visiting these doing on the spot checks like we know that he's very hands-on with all of this it's something he's very very passionate about something we should all be passionate about without the ocean there is no us people think that's crazy but it's true like the if you think the trees give us all of our oxygen 
You're dead wrong. Like, <laughs> we need the ocean. The plastic debris floating into the ocean. At the Ocean Cleanup, our mission is to rid the world's oceans of plastic. And indeed, with the interceptors, we hope to stop plastic at the source. We're a relatively small organization, and of course, we can't do this by ourselves. There are a thousand rivers that we need to tackle to stop 80% of plastic going to the ocean. You know, that's a, a lot of rivers, and we want to do that in as short a time as possible. So really, we look for partners to help us with, with rolling this out. I know that Boyan is also looking at other ways of cleaning up that whole Pacific garbage patch that's floating out there, the whole so little plastic really island. Partners to help us with, with rolling this out. You know, we're good at the engineering, the research, and sort of you know, finding these partners. And we need help when it comes to, um, for example, the manufacturing of the interceptors, the servicing, and actually installing them in the rivers. Now, and now these three things is what Kona Cranes will be helping us with. The ocean cleanup has set a goal to collect 500,000 football fields worth of plastic and debris. And as of now, they've collected more than 250,000 football fields worth of plastic, mostly from the rivers that the interceptors are installed in. I'm 900% sure almost that they made their quota. Now, the river interceptors have been a great success for the ocean cleanup's goal of cleaning plastic out of rivers, but Boy and Slat's original goal of cleaning up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with there you go. another autonomous cleaning device, known as the Ocean Cleanup System, will kick into high gear this summer when the team will deploy and continue to test the upgraded System 2 in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Uh, this summer, uh, we will be returning to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with a completely redesigned system, which will be um, you know, actually much bigger and hopefully much more operational as well than, than the previous systems, which are really uh, small scale prototypes. So that's, of course, just the beginning. And um, yeah, there will be many millions or maybe even billions of, uh, of football fields in, in uh, years right. to come if, of course, this campaign this summer will be successful. The Ocean Cleanup Systems and the Interceptors have both contributed to a proof of concept experiment, coming full circle and producing actual products out of plastic captured in the ocean. Here we go. I have a feeling we're about to hear about some of those questions that everybody asks us. Okay, once we take this stuff out of the ocean, what then? Like, what are we doing with it? Are we just throwing it back in landfills where it can end up back into the ocean? What are we doing? Obviously, he just said that we figured out how to way it make certain products that we need out of some of the recycled plastic from the ocean. So there's a, that it may not be the, the solution, like I said, might not be the end solution, but it's a good start. Coming full circle and producing actual products out of plastic captured in the ocean. Last year, the Ocean Cleanup unveiled their premium sunglasses which are made out of plastic pulled from the ocean. The plastic is then processed and pelletized to be molded into sunglass frames. The sunglasses are meant to get the attention of other like-minded conservationists and companies interested in using recycled products to make new things. It's not like we, <laughs> we want to be like a sunglass company. Actually, we're not, we're no, we're no profit, focus on, on cleaning, but it was just really a, a demonstration. Like, look, if you can make um, sunglasses that are super high premium if you can do that with this material I mean, what else can you do with it there, there is a lot of value in this and of course the most poetic thing would be if we can, can keep the cleanup going through the plastic that we get out because what if we can somehow take the pellets that he's formed and incorporate them into our roads somehow pelletize plastic roads could be interesting clean up going through the plastic that we get out because it would just be this uh, flywheel that would just keep turning. We sold uh, over half of these sunglasses now. People can still order their own on, the, on our website, theoceancleanup.com. If we are successful with this, hopefully in the years to come, when we actually get real big volumes of trash to shore, um, that we can actually sell that material at a very high premium and with that, keep the cleanup going. The Ocean Cleanup sunglasses are being used as a platform to raise more money for the ultimate goal, which is to clean the ocean of plastic pollution before it's too late. According to the International Conservation for Nature, 8 million tons of plastic winds up in our oceans every year, threatening marine life and polluting ecosystems all over the world. The it's terrifying. Center for Biological Diversity estimates 
that plastic waste will outweigh all the fish in the sea by the year 2050. This is a global disaster. That's honestly not that far away, people. Think about it. And we must act immediately. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and ring that bell for more videos from CNET's YouTube channel. And check out our other conservation videos, including more coverage on the ocean cleanup and for ocean. Thanks for watching. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit more about Boyan Slot and his ocean cleanup. Like, seriously, it's pretty innovative stuff. It's pretty, it's a legit way to start tackling a problem by keeping the plastic out of the ocean in the first place. And then focusing on cleaning up the rest. Putting a step forward, getting a whole bunch of people together and showing the world that something can be done when we all unite for a common cause. That's what this is all about. This, like I said, all of the ad revenue, all of the donations from the donation button that will be down below. All of it goes right back to the Ocean Cleanup who last I checked made 8.6 million so far. I know that we're going to hit our 30 million pounds of plastic out of the ocean go 100 because of you guys if you guys enjoyed hit that like button if you dislike to hit the dislike button check out one of my other videos up here subscribe right here if you want to see more content possibly your content definitely go show cnet some love on their channel as well until the next one i'm highly possible you guys be happy healthy safe i love you to the moon and back peace